Hey everyone, so today I'm doing an exciting reading vlog and I've been wanting to do a vlog like this for so long. So basically I'm going to read a random book off my bookshelf and hopefully read the entire thing in this vlog if I don't do enough it or anything like that. Yeah, so basically the reason I wanted to do something like this is because I obviously, you know, receive a lot of books and get excited about new releases and stuff. So sometimes I get sidetracked and forget about the books that I currently own. So some books I've had on my shelves for years and I still haven't read them yet so I thought this would be a fun idea especially because I usually always have a TBR set and stuff and obviously throughout the month I might you know pick up a random book that wasn't on my TBR but most of the time I try to stick to my TBR and then I just forget about other books that I already own and I could have a book that you know could be my new favorite on my shelves and I just haven't read it yet so basically I tweeted out asking for people to reply with a number between 1 and 8 and a number between 1 and 50 and thank you so much to everyone who replied I literally got like 400 plus replies so thank you so much so basically this is how I'm going to choose which book I'm going to read so I have like eight shelves so I'll show you what I mean so I have these bookshelves here so for these bookshelves I'm counting one two three four five six i'm not counting those books because those are mostly harry potter books so i've already read those and on the top i'm not counting those books i don't know why i'm just not <laughs> so for this bookshelf i'm using the top row as number seven and the bottom row as number eight and then i roughly counted how many books are on each shelf going across and it can be up to 50 sometimes a bit more sometimes less so i just made it 50 and if for example i go to shelf two and go to number 50 and i actually don't have 50 books then i'll just go to the next shelf if that makes sense. Also obviously the number that I choose if it goes to a book that I've already read before I'm obviously just going to choose another number because I want to read a book that I haven't read before but yes yeah, so <laughs> I'm so excited. So basically I'm just going to go to my tweet I'm just going to let them all load first. I'm literally just going to choose it by doing this. Okay 4 and 13. So thank you so much to Alex Nova one for sending these numbers so let's go to my bookshelf and see which book it is. Okay so 1, 2, 3, 4 Four. I've like read nearly all of these so I'm a bit nervous. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, I've already read Ninth House so we're gonna do a new number. Okay, let's try again. 2, 11. Okay, let's see. So this is the second shelf. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I've already read Uzumaki. Okay, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Okay, Kevin, 6, 18. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, four, five, six. I'm not going to count all those comics. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, I've already read Saga Volume 3. <laughs> I knew it would take a few tries, but I did not think it would be this many. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Six, forty-seven. Forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven. <laughs> I've already read Nevermore. Okay, the next one has got to be it. Seven, seven, this was sent by Maddie. Okay, so this is number seven, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god, I've read that. Obviously, I've read a lot of the books that I own, but I feel like I have so many books that I own that I haven't read, so I'm shocked that I keep landing on books that I've already read. But anyway, okay, so the next one is seven, thirteen. That was sent by Megan. Okay, so same shelf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, I haven't read Starfish. Okay, so the book I'm going to read is Starfish by Akemi Dawn Bowman. And I was actually gifted this a few years ago and I hadn't heard much about it. But since then, I actually have heard quite amazing things about this book. It definitely isn't talked about too much, especially not here on BookTube. But I'm very, very excited. <laughs> this is the kind of book that I really hope that I would choose for the random book. I probably wouldn't have picked this up anytime soon just because it's not a super high priority book. But I do think I'm going to love it and I have been meaning to read it for years so yeah hopefully it's gonna be amazing and I think I will be able to finish this in this vlog because it's only 326 pages and it's not a fantasy or anything I was actually scared it was gonna be a classic that I would have to read and I was like oh my god so yeah I believe this is young adult contemporary and it's supposed to just be a really beautiful story I believe it also deals with social anxiety so we follow Kiko Humura who has always had a hard time saying exactly what she's thinking she has a mother who makes her feel unremarkable and she is half Japanese <laughs> I didn't know that. I would have read this book earlier if I knew that because I'm always searching for books with mixed race representation because I am biracial. So 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> so Kiko prefers to keep her head down, certain that once she makes it into her dream art school, her real life will begin. It also says she has an abusive uncle who moves back in with her family. So basically she doesn't have a great home life. I believe it's obviously going to deal with a lot of important and heavy topics like abuse and mental illness. So it says this is a luminous, heartbreaking story of identity, family, and the beauty that emerges when we embrace our true selves. So this definitely sounds up my alley. Everything about that really appeals to me. So. I am so, so excited to read this. Also, I really do love the cover. <laughs> but anyway, so before I start reading, I wanted to mention that this video is being sponsored by a function of beauty. So obviously we're living in a pretty stressful time at the moment. So it's nice to focus on self-care and de-stressing. And you can do that with function of beauty's customizable hair care range. So you can fully customize your hair care products on the function of beauty website by filling out a quick two minute quiz. So you can put in your hair type, your hair goals, and your personalized preferences. So you can choose the color of your bottle and the fragrance. They sent me the shampoo, the conditioner that are fully customizable, as well as the hair serum. So I chose the scent Rose and Black Current, and you can also choose the intensity of the scent. You can also customize the name on the bottles. So obviously I wrote Function of Chloe. You can also add these fun stickers. So yeah, I do get quite a few comments asking about my hair and what products I use. And I finally found some products that I feel really comfortable recommending because they are amazing. So I've been using these products for around a month and a half, and my hair just feels so so healthy. It just feels really nice and smooth. I really also love this serum because I use this before I straighten my hair and it just makes it look so shiny and smooth and I love it. And Function of Beauty are 100% cruelty free and vegan. They have no parabens, sulfates, GMOs or toxins. So when you're filling out the quiz on the website you get to choose your hair goals and some of mine are I want it to be really shiny. Another goal is to have a soothed scalp. I definitely deal with a dry scalp. This has definitely helped a lot and my scalp isn't as itchy and stuff like that so I'm so thankful for that and I just love them honestly just the fact that they are so customizable I love customizable products love how you can choose the color and the scent it just makes it fun Function of Beauty also offer a subscription service so you can get ongoing deliveries of your favorite personalized formulas so if you're interested in checking them out you can follow the link below and get 20% off your first order and now I'm gonna start reading Starfish so I'm gonna get comfy go downstairs start reading in my reading chair Kiko basically won an award and the mum like does not even care, doesn't show any interest and then she tells her how she won a ribbon and she's like what like a participation ribbon? <laughs> yeah so the mum is definitely going to piss me off throughout this whole book I know. Okay so I know I literally only just started this book, I'm only on page 11 but I think I'm going to freaking love this book. I am already so invested and I already love the main character Kiko. I just love the way that it's written and just everything like that and I don't know. There are rare times where you just start a book and you already know you're gonna love it. That is the feeling that I'm really getting. Like I'm just <laughs> loving this book and obviously once again I'm only on page 11 but it's just this feeling that I'm getting. <laughs> 
like, I don't know, I can already relate to so much. You know, even Kiko was talking about how when she was younger, she had this guy that she liked. And then that guy got his friend to tell her, sorry, but he doesn't actually like girls who look like you. And she was so confused, like, girls who look like me, what does that mean? Is it because I have dark hair? Is it because I wear jeans? Is it because, you know, all these things? But then she said she saw that guy be with different girls over the years who had those same features about her, like had dark hair, wore jeans, stuff like that. And she realized that none of the girls that he ended up being with later on were Asian. So obviously he meant like he doesn't date Asian girls sort of thing. And when I was growing up, whenever, you know, a guy told me that they liked me or something, I would always wait for them to say, even though you're Asian, like you're still really cute or whatever. And obviously that's just ridiculous. I would always just wait for the moment for someone to say like, oh yeah, I know that you're Asian by the way, but I still like you. Anyway, I'm just loving this book <laughs> and I already feel like I'm going to cry. <laughs> okay, sorry. I just ended that cliff, but then I started reading on page 11 and I have to do another update because she's saying how Lauren Finch, this girl in her school, is definitely going to win like best looking of the year, which I hate those awards. But anyway, <laughs> she's saying how, you know, she's universally appealing and she's saying how she doesn't have to worry if guys will like her because of her race. Nobody will tell her she's pretty for a white girl. She's just pretty, period. And growing up, I got that quite often that I'm pretty for an Asian girl, which... <laughs> so I just think this book is going to be so impactful. <laughs> I can't express how excited I am to be reading this book. Okay, so I'm on page 50. Yeah, I'm just loving this so much. I'm getting the five star feels. It definitely is a really heartbreaking read so far. So many people treat Kiko so horribly and Kiko deals with PTSD, anxiety and social anxiety, but she absolutely loves art and I really love it because, because a lot of the chapters end with a description of something that she's drawn and she really uses art as a way to express her feelings and everything, so it's just beautiful and I also just love that as a writing technique because it shows you how she's feeling without having to you know explicitly say it because it's through the drawing so I'll just give you an example because it's honestly stunning and I want Kiko to have an art Instagram <laughs> so I can see see these pieces because they sound so incredible. So basically one of them, I think this is the first one. I paint a girl with white hair, blending into a forest of white trees, with stars exploding in the sky above them like shattering glass. If you don't know where to look for her, you might not see her at all. And I'll just read one more. I draw a girl with arms that reach up to the clouds, but all the clouds avoid her because she's made of night and not day. <sighs> I can't get over this book. It's so good. And honestly, if this becomes a new favorite, like this video is such a success. I'm just so happy to be reading this right now. Anyway, I need to read more now, so bye. <laughs> page 149 and I could definitely finish this tonight like I'm so invested in the story I'm absolutely loving it it's still having the five star feels and honestly I think this is going to be a new favorite <laughs> it's just hitting me in so many different ways I'm relating to so many different aspects of the book and honestly it's an emotional ride but yeah I'm just loving it it's beautiful it's definitely very hard to read so wait, I'm gonna take a break now because you know my heart just feels heavy reading this book I love the way that Kiko's anxiety is being portrayed and everything and there's just so many important discussions happening and the mum is so 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 toxic it's honestly so exhausting to read about but also i love how it's saying how there are different microaggressions that happen to people of color and those can even come from your friends so for example emery who is kiko's best friend she said to kiko oh no you're really pretty you're so exotic looking which is the classic thing that people say to like asian people or just people who aren't white anytime someone has called me exotic 
no thank you. Anyway, it's just an amazing, amazing book so far. Also, this is becoming one of my most annotated books too. Like I have so many thoughts that I'm writing down and just so many things I want to tab. So I'm going to take my makeup off now and just get cozy, take a little bit of a break and see how I feel. So I might read some more tonight. Actually, I probably will definitely read some more tonight, but I'm not sure if I'll finish it tonight. I might finish it tomorrow, but we'll see how I feel. I continued reading. I'm on page 233 and honestly nearly teared up at the description of Starfish. So obviously the book is called Starfish and it was just explained like what that means and <sighs> this book is truly on another level and I don't know why more people aren't talking about it. It's so so powerful. I've not had a reading experience like this in so long. <sighs> Gosh, my chest is so heavy. Okay, so I finished Starfish. <sighs> this book was so, so <laughs> honestly an emotional rollercoaster. I can't breathe. I literally love this book so much. It is definitely super hard to read, and yeah, it's just hard to read. Um, it's definitely really heavy, but wow, wow, and that ending. I have so many thoughts. <sighs> it's just such an amazing feeling when you just feel represented in a book <laughs> and oh my god <laughs> this book <laughs> if you know me you know I don't cry often in books but this is <sighs> oh my god wow <laughs> I really did not think the vlog was gonna end like this I did not think I would read a book as powerful as this in this vlog I thought I'd read just you know some fun random book for my bookshelf yeah it definitely deals with a lot of heavy and dark topics and there are a lot of trigger warnings for anxiety emotional abuse sexual abuse and suicide but it's also just so beautiful and watching Kiko overcome all her struggles and gain confidence and be the person she wants to be and spread her wings and everything like that it was just so so beautiful to see and everything being represented through her art and the relationship that she makes with people oh my god <laughs> i don't know why more people aren't talking about this book it's one of the best books i've ever read one of my new absolute favorite books of all time it's definitely one i wouldn't reread well, may maybe sometime in the future but yeah like i said it was really hard to read but it's one of those books that i'm like you know my life has changed after reading it wow <laughs> i just I can't get over how much I love this book. There are so many things I want to say, but most of them are spoilery, so I'm obviously not going to say them, but everything about this is flawless. I just need to lie in my bed and, you know, just look at the ceiling for a bit, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely recommend reading Starfish if you're in the right headspace. I will leave it linked below, but yeah. I will also, of course, have Function of Beauty linked below. Thank you so much to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video once again, and don't forget to check them out and use my discount code if you're interested. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I did not expect this to happen from this vlog. But anyway, I hope you're having a good day or night and I'll see you in my next video.